So we're in Clovis, California, and we have a Bradford White 50-gallon uh, LP, which is liquid propane water heater. And um, pulled a permit on this one, Fresno County. And so here's what we've got. The gas line, we went ahead and replaced that valve. It was an older valve. Don't like those. They tend to leak out the bottom. It spins through the valve. So brand new valve. And then uh, as per contract, a new uh, flexible supply line. And then as per code, the uh, strap on the lower third, strap on the upper third, and as per code as well, uh, full three-quarter uh, copper. You can use copper, CPVC, galvanized, anything that's full three-quarter. So, And it's got a union within 12 inches of uh, there. And then, of course, another one down here just because we're going from iron pipe over to copper. So dielectric unions here and there. Uh, so relief lines installed. And then up top, as per contract, we went ahead and put in a quarter turn uh, ball valve on the cold side that's uh, manufactured by Watts lead free as per code and then we went ahead and made a transition to Falcon stainless steel supplies these are the mega flows so it's a full three-quarter inside some of the supply lines are pretty small uh, these are full flow so I, I like using these and I'm not having any trouble with those so that is in and good. We went ahead and put in some new vent piping here. That uh, existing step through is just sitting up in a um, kind of like, uh, I'm not sure what it's called. A roofer would know what it's called, but it's, it's not a, a typical roof jack uh, cap collar or storm collar up there, but it just kind of sits up in there. So we got some tape to hold it up in there. Uh, brand new uh, single wall vent there couple adjustable 45s everything screwed together this side we did go up to uh, one inch and then a one inch uh, by 24 inch long falcon stainless steel supply line made a transition up there you got the uh, uponer uh, male adapter and it goes to one inch uponer so we've taken that up into the attic and we have a uh, manifold up there it's got uh, 10 ports 10 half inch ports out of it. so full one inch line up in the attic and then everything will tie in half inch and uh, so we'll be working on that tomorrow and then outside of that the water heater installation is done